another two days have passed, and here comes the night, full of chaos, mysteries, and revengeful feelings. Autumn feels a blend of tension, anxiety, and reluctance inside her body. Daryl gives a cold stare at the palace from miles away, vowing to take revenge on the man who killed his father. Joe, probably the most determined of them all, have all his troops ready to battle any time. At midnight, when most of the guards are outside, patrolling around the palace, Joe starts to crawl very quietly as close to the front gate as possible, then lights up his temporarily poisonous incenses and hurries back to join Daryl and Autumn. The three of them watch as those guards collapse one by one by the effect of the poison. Under Joe's command, their soldiers begin to slowly surround the whole palace. Daryl leads his team inside before burning more incenses. As the poison reaches more people, Daryl and Joe leads their team towards the king's bedroom. Little did they know that they have arrived at the most strictly guarded area. The king's guards seem to be aware of what's happening and therefore gather around the bedroom. And that's where the epic battle begins. The palace soldiers seem to appear more and more out of nowhere. Daryl and Joe are both extremely exhausted. But while everyone is busy fighting, our last hero found a good opportunity to join in. Making her way through the battlefield, Autumn manages to sneak into her uncle's bedroom and lights up a big bunch of incenses. And before her beloved uncle could even wake up, he had already smelled the poison and fainted. The poisonous smell then spreads to the fighters outside. The three of them finally see a side of victory. Ooh. Ugh. What's happening? Well, you're not a king anymore. No way, you filthy niece! Let go of me, you can't take the king down. You know, uncle, you've never been a king. Just because you hold the throne doesn't mean you're a king. Just because you live in a palace doesn't mean you're a king. Only by having a kind heart and respect can you be a powerful king. And you, a person who kills his own brother just to take the throne, a person who has no mercy for anyone including his own family, a person who kills millions of lives with no fear, a person who starved the whole kingdom to death can never, ever be a leader. Huh! You have no right to lecture me, you vicious niece! <laughs> Take a look at all of these soldiers. They all had their family killed on the day you hold the throne. I never wanted to hold a rebellion. You just forced me to. Huh! Now that you succeed, kill me! Kill me right now! <laughs> I don't dare to end your life, uncle. I can never kill my family. We're not the same. Gods, take him to the prison. Oh, 
No, I'm the real king, you filthy, cruel, stupid autumn. Ah, let me go. Ah. All of the soldiers then bow to our three heroes to thank them for their bravery. Darrow finally got the revenge for his father. Autumn looks up at the starry night sky to tell her parents about the amazing job she had done. A group of fireflies also fly by to celebrate this victory. Having been through its ups and downs, blood and tears, uncertainties and oppression, the kingdom has finally restored the peace and freedom it once lost and hopefully will persist as freedom for more generations to come.